Hello fashion sewers, I hope you're well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. And if you're interested in things like refashioning of old or new clothing, sewing techniques, and I've got lots of video tutorials on sewing techniques, Sew and Tell, which is this series, and it's a new series to my channel. I also do outfits of the week. So I do six outfits and then I upload that on, on the weekend so that you can see what I've been wearing throughout the week. And I also do lookbooks, sewing lookbooks. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, consider subscribing and let's get started. So before we move into talking about body confidence, I just want to talk a little bit about my sewing project after all it is sew and tell. So I'm making sure that whatever I need to hand sew, I will do in this series. <laughs> so hopefully that means I'll get that stack of work down to a good level. Then that I will be making sure that I keep my promises to myself about doing some hand sewing and you know keeping on top of that. So I'm definitely starting with this top that I said last week that I was going to put snaps in, but I'm actually going to hand sew it all the way down. I will be leaving the top button unfastened so that I can easily slip it over my head. So I'll be doing that while I'm talking to you, so please do excuse me if I don't always look at the camera, but I'm sure I will be doing more of that than I will be of um, my hand sewing. And I uh, was pretty successful last week when I did it, so let's see what happens this week. So we're talking about body confidence in fashion sewing in particular, and I'll talk a little bit more about that towards the end of the video. I just want to give an introduction to body confidence and where that body confidence kind of ethos is all coming from. And mainly it's from the fashion industry and also the entertainment industry. Now, um, body confidence is, is an issue that is mainly to do with the Western world and um, how we perceive our bodies to be and whether or not we fit into this so-called world of perfection and we all seem to see perfection as being very thin and um, well perhaps not very thin but at least thin and my perception of it is that from the years that I've been on the planet and it's been many years I've seen a, a huge difference from for example when I was growing up there wasn't there wasn't that much talk about weight about your body and you know whether you're confident with your body or not i just can't remember that kind of talk and my mum used to make clothes for other people and when they used to come to the house and try and garments and stuff my mother wasn't using the terminology or language that we're using today um you know for example oversized um, no sorry plus size people plus size models plus size sewing patterns plus size yeah let me know in the comments what you think about that I, I, personally even today i just can't get over it whenever my mother would be describing people it would be that you know the person had you know sh small shoulders or you know they had straight shoulders or they had drooping shoulders or you know they were they had you know big breasts or small breasts or you know they had a really round bottom or didn't have any at the bottom and it's to me it seemed to be a lot politer describing people in that way rather than just saying you know you are either plus size which is like kabunk, plus size within the circle of plus size is a lot of different body shapes or if you were uh, on the on the opposite scale you know whether you were not I don't want to use the word anorexic or whether you're very slender you know, you still have a different body shape, even if you are slender. I mean, you either have a body shape that is, let's say, for example, that's another word, curvy, curvy, or you didn't have a body shape that was curvy and it's rather slender. You know, there's a balance. Everybody on the planet has different body shapes. We all do. And the fact that we are changing it to please, to please who? Yeah, that's, that, that's, are we pleasing? Are we pleasing ourselves? 
Um, I don't think so to a large degree or not. We're trying to fit in. I think that's our, that's our thought process. We're just trying to fit in to what society is telling us, to what the media is telling us. And to me, it's worrying. We shouldn't have to worry about our bodies. I just can't remember as a young child, young person, teenager, um, I just can't remember worrying about my body. I, I've always kind of felt confident about my body. And yeah, it's, it's worrying. And back in the day when I was at school, yeah, I heard the word diet quite a bit, not, not as much as you hear today, but it was banded about quite a bit. And I know some girls, you know, would go on diets because they wanted to be thinner. And I never really got involved in that. I do remember, I do remember <laughs> a particular time with me and my friends, we went on a digestive biscuit <laughs> diet. Crazy diets that are out there. And about 14, 15, it lasted two days. My mother is too much of a good cook to stick to any kind of diet, absolutely any kind of diet. And there was not the issue that we have today where there was a lot of people who were had problems with weight and um, and I think back in school days you, you know you're growing up you want to be a woman you want to have your curves and what have you and yeah that's kind of really it <laughs> yeah two days if that maybe just a day um, um, so going back to the fashion industry and a lot of people don't like to put blame on the fashion industry yes they are to blame a large percentage of the fashion industry and entertainment industry are to blame and someone should just say it you are to blame because if you weren't putting out images of just slender people decade upon decade then we wouldn't have issues and problems would we we are having issues and problems do you know why because we can't find garments that fit the body shape that we are and why is that? Because fashion designers only, more or less, maybe it's changing a little bit as we're now in the 21st century, women that are straight up and down, thin, and that just transcends from the couture all the way down to, you know, fast fashion. The, the garments are just made up and down. It's proportional. There's too many body shapes out there for them to think that we need to do a certain number of sections of a dress in this body shape, in that body shape, in that body shape, in that body shape. It doesn't work that way, like that. It's this size, this size, this size, and this size. And the size usually is about a straight body shape in different sizes. Straight body shape, straight body shape, straight body shape in different sizes as you go up and up the scales. There is, I do believe, about 12 different body shapes out there to, to this date. Um, and Trini and Susanna, I do have um, some information. I've, I've done my research. I do, I came across this some time ago actually, it's been a couple of years ago. And when I was going to do this, I made sure that um, I kind of followed up on that research. So, and um, unfortunately, I can't put any images up. And um, had some amazing images of these 12 women body shapes, but copyrights and um, YouTube are making things a lot more difficult <laughs> than they did back in the day. So, um, yeah, I'm going to put a link in the description so that anybody who's interested and wanted to have a look at that information that's been put out there and it's just a google search um i'll put that in the description of what susanna and trini had put out there i think it's mid 90s that information well it's, it's it's very relevant today and it's amazing to see all these different body shapes and it just seems to have been stuck in history i don't see that information kind of coming through to you know 2019 2020 so you know, I think it's up to us to kind of put that forward. The fashion industry is changing very slowly and it almost feels as though it's 
a trend. We are now aware that they're not having us as a consideration when they are designing. And when this topic does arise, it's a case of, well, you're not making clothes for our body shape. You're just making clothes for these, you know, tall, slender women. You know, we come in all body shapes. We're buying your products. You know, please bear us in mind. And it is a case that they are listening, but it seems to be a trend. So for one season, they'll probably put, you know, a, a couple of, models on a, on, on a runway that are different shades, but it isn't continuous. I've watched quite a few videos for um, autumn, winter. What can I say? You know, we're telling them, <laughs> we're shouting it at them, and it's a case of, we're still here, we haven't gone anywhere. It's like, put us on the catwalk, put our body shapes on the catwalk, day in, day out, full stop, no arguments, no debates, but that's the way it is. Our body shapes, people from um, who have um, disabilities, people of um, ethnicity, different body shapes, you know, we, we just need to see ourselves on there. We are beautiful shapes that should be reflected in the fashion industry. And that, to me, will be half the battle to, to um, to get an understanding out there for the next generation that are coming up. Now, from the perspective of a teacher, I have seen so many students, and you know, one or two of actually even you know, practically broken my heart about how they think about their own bodies. You know, they are 11, 12, 13, 14 years old, 15, 16, and they are wanting, they're thinking at that age. Of changing their body shape. It's, 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 it is astonishing how they're thinking of when they become a woman, the body shape that they want to have. And they're not thinking like, this is the body shape I'm going to have. Yes, I haven't quite developed yet because I'm a girl. And by the time I get to 16, 17, 18, my body shape is going to change because of genetics, because of genes, and because of, you know, your, your, your eating habits. Your body is going to change, but you can't tell that to young people today, which is sad. And they just think, right, they need, you know, bigger boobs, they need a bigger bottom, or they don't want a, a bigger boob, or they don't want... And it's, and it's crazy what they actually talk about while they're in the classroom, ready to be taught, maths, English, or, you know, whatever. whatever. Not only women, but also boys as well. And it's such a strong, almost like identity of wanting to fit in. And it's fitting into what? They don't quite understand the world yet. And me as a teacher, I'm always telling them, be a girl, be a girl, be a boy. You are a baby, then you're a toddler, and then you start to grow into a boy, and well, you've always been a boy, or boy or a girl, but then you become, you know, like a boy and a girl, that age before you start to, what's it about, 13, 14, start to show forms of being a man or a woman. Enjoy being a girl. From the age of 11, they are wanting to be a woman. And that, I always tell them that there's a short period between, let's say, the age of 10 to, let's say, 16. Enjoy that period there because you are a girl, something they don't seem to understand. And then after that, as your body starts to change, it will do biologically because that's what human bodies do. You will become a, you know, a woman and a man. You start having you know, all these changes in your body, but they are thinking that they want their changes. As soon as they get to 18, they're, they're already doing part-time jobs to save towards it. And it's just, to me, it's just mind boggling. I, I, it came to a stage where it was, I had to kind of get students to draw on the board, the whiteboard of the age in, in, in the, in, in the drawing board. And it came to a stage where I got to get them to realize that they were a girl or a boy 
and then you will transition into a, a man or a woman and that happens naturally so don't be doing you know strange things to your bodies to make sure things happen just to allow it to happen and you've also got to think about your genes because that plays a huge part in the way our body shapes are so I've talked a little bit about the fashion industry and um, one more thing um, what, I, what I didn't like or don't like but I think they still do it in the fashion industry in order to make sure that I suppose more the designer level um, of garments because couture could be picking at any body shape really um, do you know that some of the fashion designers would design garments up to a certain size and to a, body, and to a certain body shape because they didn't want to see anybody with too much curves or slightly overweight wearing their garments because that meant that whoever was wearing those they wouldn't look like the image on the catwalk or the images they were portraying in magazines that is so sad seriously that is so sad yeah industry this has got really so much to talk i've just got so much to say and, and i am kind of passionate about it and one or two of you have in my last video mentioned it um in in the comments and uh, one particular comment was about where i say wear anything that you want and then you also need to wear what suits your body shape and you know they disagreed and that's fine that's what the comments are there for um just be respectful of you know of each other and the comments that we're putting out there but i still stand by that that you know do wear what suits your body shape and then do wear what you do wear what you want to wear and think what what I'm trying to say is that if you are enjoying your body shape, you should know what really does suit your body shape. And within that body shape, do wear what you want to wear. In other words, don't let anybody else influence what you should be wearing. And I know some people are not sure what suits their body shape. And I'm going to go into this a lot more in my Sew and Tell series and i will talk about different body shapes so please put comments put your questions and queries and, and, and in the comment box so that i can you know make sure i keep on top of this kind of topic and also make sure i kind of give it a bit more depth and cover as many different body types so that you know you can pick up ideas and you know you could take away and use in your sewing projects or your refashioning projects etc so you know just 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 pay just make sure that it's uh covering the topic of body confidence and i also want to make sure that i'm portraying that through my soul and tell that's that's the reason i'm changing you know the, the what i'm doing on my channel is that i want my soul and tell series to be a little bit more on the discussion side so you know just fill that comment box below so the fashion industry, I talked a little bit about my mum and um, how she spoke to people in different body shapes there and a little bit about um, the younger generation when I was in teaching in the classroom and my concerns there is just, it was just, it's very powerful. Fashion is so powerful and can be very dangerous as well, you know, what you actually want to wear and society saying, you know, in some cultures that you are not allowed to wear whatever it is you want to wear because it's either a religious or a cultural thing and it's powerful fashion it really is powerful so I've also talked a little bit about Trini and Susanna about their body shapes and if you do get an opportunity to look at that then please do and then I haven't done much sewing here <laughs> which is fine because I know at the end of this video I will be making sure that I finish this yeah, give myself an extra 10 minutes or so to finish off but i'm just yeah I'm a, I'm, I'm a very expressive person with my hands um yeah so i'm gonna try and keep them here but if they don't stay there that's fine because it's just witty <laughs> it's just the way it's just the way i am so body confidence in the sewing industry i think the sewing industry has not knownly a head start in understanding that fashion 
if you're not catering for me, I'll cater for myself and my body shape, or you don't have the styles and fashions that I want, so I'm going to have to do it for myself, then we can make a difference. And we are. We are making a difference. We have, got, we have now got a voice. Maybe not a big voice as, you know, the fashion industry other or the entertainment industry, but we now have a voice and that voice can be played out on social media. All these different platforms. Like, for example, I'm going to go with Instagram. You know, Instagram is amazing in the sense that, you know, you can see all these different body shapes wearing, for example, all um, sewing patterns and maybe one particular sewing pattern. And we can see it being transformed into all these different body shapes. People are buying them, buying these patterns, and they're adjusting them in order to fit their body shape, which they have to do anyway. And that's probably, yeah, that's the fashion industry is kind of following the same kind of format as the sewing industry is following the same kind of format as the fashion industry, where it's, it's patterns, are, yeah, they're very much up and down as well, very straight models, and the models that are on the front of the envelope are not very reflective of the people who are buying them and that is the case really isn't it so yeah they've got a bit of work to do but we we are doing our work though. we are doing our job we are putting ourselves out there and hopefully we are saying to people and we need to get the fashion people on board people who are just buying into fashion you know say look you can look amazing look how amazing I look in this outfit I just made last week or I made over the weekend and it fits my body shape even though I'm long and thin or even though I'm very curvy and it's the same dress I look amazing and confident because partly because you made it yourself and I look amazing I mean isn't that what we do as fashion sellers you know we are embracing our body shape and I do hope that a lot of people are proud of the fact of their body shape and as a fashion seller we're not necessarily wanting to copy the fashion industry garments trends and if we do then that's fine we are wanting to in my opinion to share the fact that clothing can look amazing on different body shapes and it's not impossible to look amazing or look better than the catwalk models because we can because if you look closely at some of these models who are walking the runway yeah I think a lot of us could do a lot better work at walking the runway once we have that I don't know closeness to the garment and it's fitting well anybody can walk a runway in whatever body shape you have. Anyway, I'm digressing a little bit. The fashion zone industry. So I definitely do believe the fashion lens industry has a little bit of a head start and we need to help sewing companies understand our body shapes a bit better and maybe improve on their sewing patterns that they have out there. But then again, you can always design your own patterns as well. So in the quest for us Finding a, well, what I'm, looking, what I'm trying to say is that we need to stop reading about all these different points in order to build your self-esteem when it comes to body confidence and also, you know, be a little bit proactive and we are in its own industry in making sure that we are happy with the body shapes that we have. And I'm hoping through my channel, that I'm sharing as much information as I can do through the Sew and Tell series and also when I talk about some fashion advice and tips in my outlets of the week. So even if you don't have a body shape like mine, don't be too judgmental on your body shape and, and when I do share tips, in, I'm, I'm trying to make sure that I'm embracing as many different body, body types so that you feel confident and you can go forward and enjoy what you're wearing. And I'm hoping that 
I will achieve that with your help. And I can only achieve that with your help by putting your views and comments in the comment box. And let's see if we can make a difference. Because if we can make a difference, we're saving the next generation of people doing terrible things to their bodies because they're not happy with their bodies because they don't see themselves within the fashion industry or the entertainment industry. They just see a certain body type and style that they need to follow. And that, to me, is a great shame. So um, with that said, I don't want this to be too long. I'm hoping that this video is giving me an opportunity to open up the, open up the topic a little bit more so that I can ta start talking about different body shapes and how um, I can share information in order to make sure that you are taking away some information that you can work in your wardrobe or within your sewing projects and also be happy with your body shape. So that's how I'm going to be ending the video. I just want you to be happy with your body shape and yeah, I'm going to put myself out there as well. Am I happy with my body shape? Do I have body confidence? Have I always had body confidence? Yes, is my answer. I think I've always had body confidence, especially when I was younger. I don't think it was a big issue back there. Society wasn't saying, you know, too much as far as I can understand that you used to be a particular body shape. Yes, it was out there, but I think it was subtle. And I'm talking about the um, 70s. That's the time when I was a teenager and I was growing up. Um, I've always more or less said, remain the same sort of ways. And as you get older, your body does change. You know, I think we need to understand that. I know I'm going on a bit now, isn't it? You know, when we go from a boy, a girl, into a man or a woman, our body changes. And then when you get to around the menopausal age, around about the age of 50, maybe even earlier as well, and about 40, perhaps, yeah, yeah 40s, um, your body changes, you know? Don't fight your body. It's meant to change. Your body was meant to go from a girl, boy, to, you know, a man, woman. And once you're in that age group of, you know, your 40s, 